that's the horse that's got you talking in your sleep. That's the colt. What do you think of him? Oh, he's fast, all right. And he's got the looks and stride of a thoroughbred. Well, he isn't. He's just a mixed breed range horse, but he can run like that all day. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Kingsley. You're not thinking of racing him. Billy, that colt can win a million dollars for me before he's a year older. But he's not even registered. Ah, yes, he is. That's black magic. Black magic? That colt of yours? But he died. That's right. And I never reported his death, so his papers are as good as gold. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, boys. You think of everything. Well, what can I do? Oh, you got a lot of work to do with that horse. He's never run on a track. And you gotta train him to race like a thoroughbred. That'll be duck soup. You just buy the horse. Oh, it isn't that easy. He's not for sale at any price. But I have an ace in the hole. And it's time to turn it face up. You go back to the ranch. I'll see you later. Hello, Jim. Glad to see you. Mr. Kingsley, hope I can say the same. Well, how about it? Do I get an extension on the note? Well, I'd like to oblige you, Jim, but... You see, I'm enlarging my holdings and, uh, well, I need this place of yours. Well, look, I'm, I'm over a barrel. I can dig up the interest on the money, but... I'm sorry, Jim, but uh, you know the terms of the mortgage. It's my option to foreclose any time you fall behind. I'm exercising it. When? Oh, day after tomorrow, unless you can come up with a whole 25000 with interest. You know I can't raise that kind of money in 48 hours. Well, of course, Jim. Uh, that's what I'm counting on. I'm a businessman. All right, Mr. Businessman, you've said your piece. Now, I wish you'd leave the ranch while it's still mine. Okay, Jim. Come on, boy. Of course, you know the stock goes with the ranch. So take good care of things for the next two days. Especially that black stallion your boy Joey just rode in. Don't let anything happen to him. Look, if you're still thinking about Fury, forget it. The horse belongs to Joey, and when we leave here, he's going with us. Well, the boy's a minor. How can he own a horse? By a legal deed, recorded and filed in the county courthouse. Well, <laughs> that sort of changes things, Jim. Mm -hmm. And I can see that it does. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, boy. Hi, Jim. See what a ride I just had. Seems Fury runs faster and faster every day. Well, looks like you have to move fast around here to keep up with things. Come on, let's have lunch. I don't want that ranch. I only bought up the mortgage because I thought the horse went with it. Looks like the only way to get it. Well, at least you won't be out anything, will you? Oh, I wouldn't care about that either. I could win ten times twenty-five grand on Fury's first big race. Yeah, it's too bad, boys. Well, I guess I'd better pack up and start looking for a riding contract. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It gives me an idea. Maybe I could talk Jim Newton into a horse race. Fury against Daredevil for the mortgage of the horse. Oh, but boss, that black horse could beat old Dead Devil at any distance. Could he beat the Gorman Stable stake horse, Arcus? Arcus? <laughs> there ain't three horses in the country that could beat him at a mile. Say, he and Daredevil have the same sire. They're ringers for each other. You're telling me. And a pleasant afternoon to you, my lad. Michael McClory is the name. My name's Joey. Can I do something for you? Well, now, it says down by the gate that no honest man willing to do a bit of work is ever denied a bite to eat or a night's lodging at the Broken Wheel Ranch. It says that at the gate? That's funny. I never saw it. Who could have written that? Well, no, it's not exactly written. It's carved in the fence post, in the mystic symbols of the professional wayfarer. Better known, perhaps, as a hobo. Is the owner about, lad? Oh, he's up at the house. I'll go and get him for you. Well, fine. Fine. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> well, now. Oh, it's a beauty you are, to be sure. And what's your name, my friend? Now, come closer. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen the likes of you in many a year. Ah, oh, now surely now a great-hearted gentleman like you knows a friend when he sees one. Ah, come along, laddie buck. 
You've nothing to fear from me. No, no. Never turn your back in a friend. Friends are rare enough in this water. Now that's more than like it. You know, I'll be moving on soon, and I'd like most highly to make you a better acquaintance. Ah, uh, thank you, my friend. This is a great pleasure. A memory to treasure wherever I go. God, he's dangerous! Oh, I've no doubt he could be, but, uh, oh, not to Michael Batlari. You ain't never let anyone make up to him like that. We understand each other, don't we, Fiori? <laughs> well, Mike, you certainly have a way with horses. <laughs> well, I ought to have been, uh, oh, you're the owner, huh? Eh? That's right. What can I do for you? Well, now, uh, if there's an odd job or two lying around the place, uh, I'd like to have it. Well, I'm not hiring anyone just now. But if you'd like to stay for dinner and spend the night with us, you're certainly welcome. Well, I'm a man that likes to pay me own way. And, uh, oh, uh, if there's a blacksmith place around uh, here, uh, I see one little job I can do. Your friend Fury is badly in need to show him. Golly, that'll be swell. We wanted to show him, but he won't let anyone but Joey touch him. Oh, no, bet between us, I think we can convince him it's for his own good. Sure, I bet we can. All right. Joey, take Mike over to the forge. And Mike, if you can shoe Fury, you've got yourself a job. A blessing for your kindness, sir. Thank you. Holy smoke. It's better than I thought. Which one is Daredevil? That's Daredevil. That's Arcus. <laughs> Their own mothers couldn't tell them apart. No. And now we can set up that match race. We'll have to be careful in their training. Well, fortunately, Arcus doesn't need much training. We'll exercise Daredevil up to the last day or two. Then we'll sharpen up Arcus. Boy, you're terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I don't want your ranch. I'm going to make you a sporting proposition. Chance to win that mortgage back paid in full. Win it back? How? A horse race. Fury against my old thoroughbred, Daredevil. Winner take all. The mortgage or the Fury. Those are pretty big odds. 25,000 against Fury. But I can't do it. The horse is not mine to gamble with. You're an obstinate man, Jim. Well, I'll make you a proposition that you can't turn down. We won't race for the mortgage. I'll turn that over to you, win or lose. But if I win the race, I get fury. And if I refuse, you take over the ranch. All the same, I can't risk losing Joey's horse. There's more than just a boyish affection for a pet in Joey's love for fury. It'd break the kid's heart if he lost that horse. And I can't take a chance on that, even if it means losing the ranch. But I can, can I? Joey, were you listening? Sure. It was about me and my horse, wasn't it? Boy's right, Jim. By your own standards, it was his business we were talking about. Joey, you don't realize what it means. I know what losing the ranch would mean to you. And me, too. But you might lose Fury. I know. But if Fury can save the ranch, he's going to do it. And he'll want it when I tell him about it. Well, I can't argue with the two of you. Don't worry, Jim. Fury's the fastest horse in the world. We'll win it for you. And you accept the challenge, young man? I'll say I do. Well, Jim, when shall it be? Well, how about two weeks from Saturday? It's a race. We'll make it twice around that half-mile track over Charlie Stevens' place. Fair enough. We'll be ready. So long. Okay, Joey. Run Fury around it. Here's where you learn to be a real racehorse, Fury. How do we do, Jim? Well, you're a little wide on the turns. Yeah, if you were at the racetrack, you'd be in the grandstand. Gosh, was it that bad? Well, we'll do better next time. Try them again, Joey. Big time. 
kidding ourselves, ain't we? What we don't know about racehorse training is most all there is. Oh, we'll learn, Pete. So will Fury. You hope. We did better, didn't we, Jim? Sure, Joey, much better. But that's enough for now. We'll begin pouring it out in the morning. I was indeed. Is it a race horse you're trying to make a fury, Mr. Jim? Something like that, Mike. We have a match race coming up. Indeed, no. Well, if it's running tight turns at full speed you're after, you're going about it all wrong. I'm afraid you're right. Horse racing just isn't our business. Oh, he could see that. And uh, what you don't know, you can't teach. But Fury's got to learn, Mike, or I'll lose him to Mr. Kingsley. Well, now, we can't let anything like that happen. But can you help us? Well, now, uh, my friends, uh, I'll confess. If it's to be a horse race, you best leave the training of the boy and the horse to me. For most of me wasted years have been spent around the racetracks of the world. And if there's anyone can ensure you a victory, it's Michael McClory. Gee, that's great, Mike. We can't lose now. Oh, and how easy does it, lad? You and Fury have some hard work to do right up to race day. And there's racing gear to be bought for Fury's back and aluminum plates for his feet and... Uh, Oh, uh, those stakes you set out. You better set out some more, closer together. All right, I'll go to town for the gear. And don't forget the monkey suit and cap for Jockey Joey. <laughs> Swell idea, green with pink polka dots, huh? <laughs> We're dotty enough without that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I feel like a monkey. That's how you should feel. Uh, a monkey in a stick, they call it. High in the irons and your knees tucked up to his withers. Fury's going to think I'm crazy. Oh, no, he won't. You'll feel light as a feather on him, and he'll run faster than the wind. Oh, but not yet, lad. No, take him easy at an easy lope around the stakes till he knows what you want him to do. Speed will come later. OK, Fury, now you're going to school. Now remember, lean to the left and give him the right knee hard and strong. as though you were tied to him. How's the speed? The fastest yet. Ride the turns like that come Saturday, and no horse is going to steal the rail from you. I'm inclined to agree. Congratulations, Jim. Looks like Daredevil's got to run the race of his life. You wanted a horse race. You're going to get one. Well, I must admit, I never expected to see anything like this in so short a time. How'd you do it, Jim? Well, we didn't do it. The credit belongs to Michael McClory. Michael McClory. That face is familiar. Oh, no doubt, sir. It uh, has the map of Ireland on it. Wasn't in Ireland. Well, we've met somewhere. Maybe you met Mike at the racetracks. He knows all about training racehorses. Ah, that must have been where it was. Come on, Joey. Uh, we get a cool out fury. What a character, Jim. Where'd he come from? Oh, he just wandered in. Funny. I don't remember ever meeting a Mike McClory at the tracks. But I know that face. I thought I knew all the trainers. Only an expert could have done what Mike McClory has accomplished with fury. McClory. Mike McClory. Say, that was Mike Bannon's middle name. Michael McClory Bannon. Bannon, of course. Our old friend, the blacksmith at the Brookside track. I thought we had him safely in jail on that horse-stealing job. Well, he jumped bail, and he's been on the lam ever since. Well, then the horse-stealing charge is still on the books. That's for sure. Well, well. After I have a little talk with Mr. Bannon, I don't think we'll have to worry how good Fury is. <laughs> well, I've done all I can for you, Fury lad, and for the boy, too. Just run the race like I taught you, 
and will take a better horse than any Jack King's labor on to beat you. I'm inclined to disagree with that, Mike Bannon. The name's McClory. Michael McClory Bannon, a fugitive from the law. I'm an innocent man. Yeah, I was at the track the day they found you drunk in your blacksmith shop and a steak horse you were shoeing stolen. I had not to do with it. It was a frame-up. I think the sheriff might be glad to hear your story. <laughs> What is it you want of me? The certainty of winning tomorrow's race. Here. Give him one of these tonight and the other an hour before the race. What is it? Oh, just something to slow him down a bit. If you want to stay out of jail, don't double-cross me, because if Fury wins that race, I'm going to turn you over to the sheriff. like him fine, but one of them would have you nodding in your stall all night, and, and the other would send you out in the track like a worn-out bray horse. No, if I ever did what Kingsley wants, I'd never look an honest man or horse in the eye again. I'm giving you a carrot instead. And I'm going to see the game through, and maybe you'll give me a thought once in a while when I'm rotten behind bars. Uh, and don't worry about me. Oh, boy, you're up against all the tricks of the trade. This stable by Kingsley's no doubt slick as they come. If he's still in the lead, when you hit that home stretch for the second time around, you're done for. Okay, when he swings out on the last turn, I'm gonna get by on the inside. Yeah, there's only one way to make sure of it, lad. The whip. Hit Fury! Just once, Joey, just once, around that last turn. It'll help Fury around the bend and into the lead for the wire. Okay, I'll try, but Fury will never forgive me. Ah, sure he will, lad. Why, I'll explain it to him myself. Up you go. Good luck, son. and didn't do anything to that horse. He's raring to go. He double-crossed me. You have to run your own race. Just get out in front and stay there no matter what happens. Right. Here's the mortgage, Sheriff. Newton gets that no matter who wins the race. All right. Here's the bill of sale for Fury. Kingsley gets it if his horse wins. Well, everything seems to be in order, so I'll get the race started. All right, boys. I'll give you a count of three, then drop my arm. Get ready. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Whip had 
You'll have to use the whip. Don't forget the whip. Hit him, lad! Hit him! Can't do it, Fury. Let's go, Fury. Come on, Fury. Go, Fury, go! Remember that horse stealing case, the Brookside track, about a year ago? No, oh, seems to me I do. Somebody's supposed to ship the famous racehorse Dynamo out of the country. That's right. Well, here's the man who engineered it, Michael McClory Bannon, the track blacksmith. He's wanted for grand larceny and jumping bail. Well, if that's so, Bannon, I'll have to hold you. Now, wait a minute. What's all this about, Mike? I can tell you. These two spalpings arranged the stealing of a famous stake horse and framed me for it, and that I can prove. I believe you, Mike, and I'll help you prove it. And that's not all, gentlemen. This horse that Joey just beat isn't daredevil at all. He's a ringer, a well-known stake horse named Arcos. Well, Mr. Kingsley, this is going to take a lot of explaining. There you are, Jim, one fair and square. Sheriff, if it wasn't for Mike, I'd have lost fury. You're not gonna arrest him, are you? No arrest, Joey. All I want from Mike is a sworn statement. Excuse me, I've gotta talk to Fury. You won, Fury, and you did it all. Mm -hmm. 